But what, 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 what do you feel lies ahead for you? I feel like I'm retiring, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just turned 50. Uh, I'm turning 51 in yeah, a few days. Yeah. I feel like I need to complete my job at Amref, yeah. which is not yet done. Yeah. And um, why is it not yet done? Because we need to move Amref from donor-driven sure. to be sustainably working with governments in Africa to change the paradigm in terms mm. of policy, you know, health systems, mm. and supported by African governments themselves. So mm. that is embedded in the ecosystem of, so we, mm. of, of the governments of Africa, mm. so that mm. Africa can start having its own destiny. Mm. So mm. there is work to be done. Mm. We're mm. now moving ourselves to having being a multi-sectoral action organization, mm. working in private sector, communities. Mm. Mm. We are now moving to providing technical assistance to mm. governments. So that we stop, we move away from service delivery mm. of HIV, TB, malaria. Mm. We let the government continue to do that, mm. but we continue to strengthen the health system for government to be able to do so. Mm. So mm. there's a lot of work to be done. Mm. So I mm. feel that's not done yet. Mm. So I'll have a few more years mm. in AMREF, mm. if the board of AMREF allows mm. me to. Mm. And then after that, mm. I will probably move, my, I see myself moving into supporting leadership mm. development. Mm. That's where I see myself. Mm. And I think after last year, my 50th birthday, I've mm. seen a lot of interest in my yeah. leadership journey. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a mm. lot of overwhelming mm. interest. Mm. And I think I should just transition to developing leadership development mm. for people, mm. for institutions, mm. but most importantly, mm. for individuals. For individuals. That's where I really yeah. want to focus. Yeah. 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 And, and you, your story is all about that. You know, leadership. From from yeah. from just what we've spent here the last couple of hours yeah. listening, there are multiple tons and tons of leadership journeys, uh, leadership journey, ex you know, quotes and experiences yeah. and wisdom and yeah. nuggets that 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 ooze out of you. And so, mm -hmm. I, uh, how you, I, I'm not so sure how you intend to do that if it's <laughs> through through an academy or through books or through master classes, but in whichever way, I'm sure that yeah. will be one of the most sought after. <laughs> master classes. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to do, I think leadership yeah. is developed eyeball to eyeball. Yeah. Because it's mentorship. Yeah. I think releasing a book on leadership does not help anybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, putting together an article on, on leadership mm. doesn't help anybody. Mm. My plan is identify those people mm. who want to be on that journey, mm. then sit with them. Mm. And therefore you get small cohorts of mm. people, mm. like 10 people, mm. and mm. you spend two weeks with them. Mm. Then you get another cohort, mm. you spend two mm. weeks with them. That's absolutely amazing. That's actually mm. what I want to land on to. So I am going to be releasing my leadership lessons mm. again, mm. the ones I did last year, mm. Mm. and I'm going to put them on a, on a platform. Mm. But the aim is to develop interest in cohorts of people mm. so that I can also tell, you know, mm. are you really interested? Mm. And if you're not interested, yeah. then you leave then the cohort. Then you're able to pick, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. pick because, yeah. you know, not mm. everyone mm. has that passion mm. for leadership. Mm. Because mm. The, in my conclusion, mm. I would say mm. that leadership is about giving out power. Mm. It's not about owning, it's not about owning power. Giving out power. It's about giving out power. That's what leadership is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, that, that leadership is about giving out power. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Passing on the baton. And actually mm. giving the power to those you lead. Yeah. If you own the power, you can never lead people. Because mm. then they don't see your vision. They mm. see you. Mm. But when you give them the power, mm. it's called the inverted triangle. Mm. So if you are a leader mm. and you sit at the top, mm. then you have very little influence on mm. these people. Mm. But if you inverse that, mm. and now you're the leader, mm. but you're the one carrying the vision mm. and the troubles mm. of the people you're leading, mm. then they follow you because mm. they know that you're going together to a common mm. destiny. Mm. So leadership, and that's one of my lessons, mm is that you have to have over power mm. to those you want to serve. Mm. Mm. Allow them to carry their destiny. Mm. And yours is to sell them the vision mm. and mm. to open and mm. to remove the barriers mm. for them. Mm. And uh, not many people see it that way. And that's service. That's service. Mm. Leadership is service. Mm. And uh, if you don't see it that way, mm. then you can't lead. Mm. You will try, mm. but you won't lead. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a personal journey. Mm. That's a very personal journey. Mm. Vulnerability mm. is part of leadership. Yeah. And yeah. It's a personal journey. Wow. Yeah. Doc, thank you. I, I, I have been educated. I've been inspired. I've been challenged. I've been... This has been the most fantastic way to spend this day. And thank you so much, thank so you. absolutely yeah. much for giving us this time uh, yeah. of your busy Friday in the midst of many, 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 many things. Yeah.
that are happening and um, for sharing this journey, for sharing the leadership journey, for sharing your life story. Mm -hmm. And um, this has been Development Dynamics with Maxi, an episode that you truly don't want to miss. And we are appreciative of your time. Asante sana. Thank you.